Everybody knows that our planet has two magnetic poles, but do you know where they are? If you're thinking they're respectively at the most northern and southern positions of the Earth, you're unfortunately wrong. The North Pole is now in Ellesmere, a small island in Canada. In fact, since its identification in 1831, the Earth's poles have not moved much. However, they have significantly accelerated over the past 40 years, heading towards Siberia at a speed of about 50 kilometers per year. So it's possible that someday the Earth's overall magnetic field will flip, making North Point encompasses make a 180 degree turn toward Antarctica. Facing this scenario may be a reality in just a few centuries. So what will happen when the polarity is flipped and magnetic north turns south and vice versa? Will it be doomsday? You have probably read or heard somewhere that when the north goes south, the continents will lurch in one direction or the other, triggering massive earthquakes and rapid climate change, thereby forcing all species, including humans, to go extinct. Well, that's just a way to throw people into chaotic fear, according to scientists. The continents may not stay the same, but they definitely won't break. Why can I say that? Well, Earth's magnetic poles have actually reversed multiple times throughout history. Oh, by history, I mean the history of our planet, not that of humans, which has only lasted for at most a few million years. Evidence found in ancient rocks suggests that over the last 20 million years, magnetic flips have happened many times. When the most recent one took place, 780,000 years ago, no worldwide shifting of continents or other planet-wide disasters occurred. That's because the convection in the Earth's mantle, which causes Earth's tectonic plates to shift, happens on a completely different distance and timescale compared to changes in the Earth's liquid core, which triggers the poles to swap. While it's true that the liquid core touches the bottom of the mantle, changes in the core propagating up through the mantle and having an influence on the motion of the tectonic plates would take tens of millions of years to occur. So, you will never be in your house and suddenly hear deafening noises of the earth quaking. That's just what the filmmakers of Doomsday movies feed you. So, since massive earthquakes won't be happening, are we safe? Not really. There are still several things to worry about. A weak magnetic field could result in the formation of ozone holes, which already exist at the moment despite having a totally different cause. Being more exposed to harmful ultraviolet light, the chances of suffering from skin cancer could soar. But don't worry too much about that. We will still have the atmosphere as our last protector. What we really have to think about is how to preserve our technology. Satellites will be severely damaged by solar storms, causing power outages and interrupting radio communications. Can you imagine living without electricity? No internet, no refrigerator, no TV. Fires and rioting on the streets will likely be seen. But wasn't there a long time when we lived perfectly fine without those modern things? I'm pretty sure we will be able to adapt after a while. Okay, what about the residents of the animal kingdom? They will undergo a massive disruption too. Those that use magnetism to navigate, such as bees, salmon, pigeons, and turtles, will find it hard to find their correct destinations. Their journeys will take longer, and they will need to spend more energy. But take it easy. Eventually, they'll find a way to cope with the new situation. Evolution will have an answer, as it always does. Wait, does that mean the transformation will only have short-term effects? and we'll all be fine in the long run? Yeah, it's likely to be so. Indeed, there'll also be good things when the poles flip over. Auroras will be visible from much lower altitudes, presenting a much more spectacular night sky. Ask someone from Norway, Iceland, or Canada. They'll describe to you how the auroras turn the sky green during nighttime. Witnessing it feels like such a dream for photographers and sky lovers. Okay guys, that's all for today. I hope I've debunked the myth that a polarity swap will send us humans into a chaotic scene. Not only will it not be that gloomy, but it will also cause positive changes. Please like this video to support our dedicated team and share it with whoever you care about to stop them from panicking. We won't all die because of the poles flipping over. Finally, there will be more videos about science and mysteries, 
so subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button right there to make sure you won't miss any. We'll probably make a video explaining the answer to your question if you leave a comment below.